What's up, YouTube? Today's video gonna be a little different. I'm like kind of getting over some sickness, right? So I'm just uh, not gonna be on camera. We're gonna be uh, breaking down a beat I, I made off camera. It's a Rod Wave type beat. And um, basically, I'm just be going through the step, go ahead and break down what I did to get the sound that I got, all right? First off, first off, before I get into this, go ahead and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe before we get into this video. But uh, yeah, let me break this down real quick. Rod Wave had this, um, this interview on a YouTube channel called Mon Reality, and basically they just interview like artists and rappers. And one of the uh, people they had up there was Rod Wave, right? But um, he did a interview, and then like I forget what led up to it, but he started singing the song by Adele, right? And I was like, Yo, what if I made a beat out of Rod singing? This the sample I've it pitched up four hundred and seventy cents. Let's see. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Alright, so that's the sample And um, for the effects chain that I put on it I, I only pitched it up because I wanted it to sound like a sample I didn't really want it to sound like actual singing on the track First I put a limiter on it for a noise gate To get rid of the uh, background noise And to um, boost the vocals to where I wanted them to um second I put an EQ on it take out the lows a little bit of the muddiness in the mids and raise the highest so you can hear his voice another EQ to make it sound more like a, a sample I think this is the uh, radio um EQ preset that you can find in here the radio one and I added some reverb I did took the dry down put the wet at about 50 percent and then uh drop the, the volume of the whole reverb down then i put some delay on it cut right here volume right here normal um preset on the delay and then the time is right here at 50 and then um yeah i didn't put no auto tune on it because i didn't want it it was sounding a little robotic and all the notes he was hitting since he didn't have a beat he wasn't he was just singing like from memory he was just singing the words so like, the auto-tune just messed with it too much, made it sound too robotic. But I, I like the natural sound of it, and he has he has a good voice already. So, like, I just left it with those effects. And, um, yeah, this is what I came up with after, like, cutting it and putting it on time. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Everybody here is watching you Cause you feel like home you like a dream come true all right so after that i i immediately i didn't know what key that was in and a couple of the clips i had to pitch up differently i pulled up a grand piano um from addictive keys what was it yeah the, the studio grand and i pulled up the aged strings preset it sounds like this well after effects i have what, what track is that on? Track 10. I have some um, EQ on it. Took out the low end of the piano. And then took out a little bit of the high in the mid. And put some reverb on it. Somatic space light. And then I put the drip on it. A little bit of the drip. I have a lo-fi preset. And that's what the piano sounds like. All right. And with Rod Wave beats, I just like the bounce of them. So, and I want, I know they're like super melodic. So first thing I did, played around with the keys, like while I was listening to the sample. So I could just find out and hear like the pitch with my ear. And um, basically I drew out a bouncy pattern with um, the bass notes. I first picked the bass notes, of course. Those were the bass notes that I used, right? And then I made little chords and then I inverted them around just to make them thicker and then when I got the nice little chords throughout the whole melody then I put some uh, top line notes just to like higher octave up make little flourishes and then I added even lower bass notes to just fill out the melody even more and this is the piano melody I came up with So that's that and then after that melody I wanted to add um, I wanted like a shimmer on that piano right like a shimmery sound 
And so after I did that piano, I just pulled up this glass preset in Citrus. So on track seven, I pulled up the glass preset, put some EQ on it, took out the highs and lows, so it was only the mid sound, and then I put some reverb on it, and this is the instrument. It has a lot of delay on it, but it's like shimmery and nice, like how, how I wanted it. So then it was the accent sound I put, so like every time the bass note hit, every time the bass note hit on the piano, this bell sound would hit, and that's just what I drew in, and this is what I got. So that's the bell sound. After the bell sound, um, I added some strings in there. This is just the stock strings it's called string sections. It comes with um strings section. It comes with FL Studio. It's free. Um I just dragged that onto track eleven. Um I put some EQ on it, took out the low end, put some reverb on it, and then I put some drip on it, the lo fi preset just to make it mesh better with the keys that I have going in the beat. And this is what the uh, strings sound like. And this is the uh, pattern I came up with, just like kind of some, um, kind of used it like a riser, like to just add some tension in the melody while it's playing. All right, that's that. And then after the uh, strings, I went and added a uh, um, little another accent melody and it's a um it's a guitar it's called the strat tremolo it's a, a stock guitar that comes with fl studio um i went and dragged that on the track eight and i added some eq take out the lows and boost a little bit of the high end put some reverb on it heavy decay push the drip lo-fi preset all the way up just to um mesh that as well with the piano and the strings and then I put a little bit of the delay on it just so it can have a little bit of um like echo, I would call it. And then um this is how it sounds with all those effects. Alright, and then this is the pattern I came up with. I just wanted a little bit of flourishes on the high end just so um it could contrast with the piano doing all the flourishes. So this adds to the melody as well. This is what I came up with. After that, I wanted um to make it more sound like a full sample. I wanted some um a bass line, so like a a bass guitar, and this is also another stock sound. It's called the Classic 80 Bass. I dragged that onto track nine, and on that I dropped some um EQ. Right, the EQ is taking the lows out, but this EQ has a um automation on it, so whenever the 808 comes in. I drop out the uh, drop out the low end in the bass line, so it doesn't clash with the 808. So this is what this automation clip is right here. So I'm gonna just turn it off right now, so you can hear how the bass line sounds without um, the low end taken out. So this is what we got for the bass line. I'm gonna go ahead and play all the melodies for you right now and this is what they sound like. All right, so that's the melody loop we have. And now let's get into the drums. They're really trappy drums. That's what I like about the Rod Wave beat so much. It's like a super soulful and luxurious melodies just all meshing together and just sound really beautiful melodies. But then you just have the hard hitting trap drums with the nice bounce on them. And so um, first off, I knew I didn't want like a clap or a snare hitting on the three and four. I wanted a snap like with a lot of reverb on it. Uh, for the hats, I didn't want to go too crazy. They're a little faster on these melodies though. At first I just did a two-step, 
Then I added just some little uh, rolls in there, like a little roll at the beginning and then a faster roll in the second bar. And then like put some low notes in there. And then the army open hat, I just, I pulled that in. After the snap on the first bar and then on the third bar it hits before. Five wave beats, they like to have a snare in there, a little accent snare hitting like on the off beats. Um, not on the three and four like a snare usually does, but on the off beats. So I just added that in there. This is the Astro snare from the Unison drum pack. Then um, the kick and the 808. Um, I used the Calm kick from Unison. It's the kick I used. And um, it just copies the same pattern that I did with the 808. So it's nothing crazy with the kick, no rolls or anything. But the 808, I used the City 808 from the Unison pack as well. Sounds like this. And then basically with the kick and 808, I just did a pattern copying the bass notes of the piano. So that's all the drums I have. I'm gonna go ahead and play the drums all together for you real quick. After that, I ain't really do anything. I had I did add some uh, master volume automation on the whole track just to fade it out at the very end after it plays the loop, the melody loop one more time. I already told you about the bass um, line, bass guitar automation. Um, I added a riser. It's a unison riser. It sounds like this. Well, it's a cymbal, but I used it as a riser and a... Um, it's an uplifter and then like a crash, but I like kind of faded it into itself. Threw my tag in there and that's the whole beat. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what you thought of the beat. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Everybody loves the things you do. From the way you talk to the way you move. Everybody here is watching you Cause you feel like home You're like a dream come